So, you want to make an apple fritter, but you don't like apples and you like oranges better, so you want to make an orange fritter, but that just sounds dumb. Hey guys, I'm Matt, that's by Kai, I'm Kai and Tanner back once again, taking a look at how to create or recreate a logo in pixel art. So, on the right hand side, you see we have the Discord logo, and then on the left hand side, we're going to go over here and we're going to try and recreate this bad boy. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill everything in with white. Um, and we're just gonna kind of try and get it this wait this color is literally exactly that color. What the heck wait? This is literally that basically the same exact color Holy that is so close. That is insane. Wow. Okay. That's just this is the regular palette in a sprite like what the heck anyway um, because fortunately discord and a lot of other logos are usually symmetrical we can go up here to the top and turn on this little symmetry tool for the horizontal, which is just, you know, it, it you know, mirrors whatever you do on whatever, you know, like that. So, um, they look like shrimp. They look like shrimp. Like, that was, wait, no, wait. It's like a shrimp. Okay. Or, you know, earbuds or whatever. Anyway, um, let's go ahead. And the first thing I'm going to do is just, let's just get the basic shape down. So, we don't have to worry about, like, super high quality polishing this. We're just going to go out like this a little bit. We're going to go up. We're going to go out. We're going to go down. We're going to go in. We're going to go in, we're going to go in a little bit again, out a little bit, and then connect. Really like that. And we're just going to fill that in. Hit G to bucket fill, and we're done. Congratulations. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead, and after we have the basic shape down like this, um, G, like I said, G to bucket fill, by the way, once again, and hit B to go back to the brush, or over here on the right-hand side, just hit pencil tool, and then uh, wherever the fill tool is, uh, somewhere, somewhere among these. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, right here, this little, this right here, this little, a little, little drop. Um, all right, cool. So now with that done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna refine this a little bit. So we're gonna make some of these edges a little bit more uh, proper. Like I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and like just kind of do something like this, maybe something like that. Have a little piece. So that little, that one little pixel kind of makes it look a lot smoother, which is what I want. Um, I don't think I like that though. Let's uh, let's go ahead and. Do something like this maybe and pull it back maybe make it a little bit thicker slightly and we'll do something like that was good i like that that's pretty cool yeah, yeah yeah okay that looks good nice so i'm just going like I said, i'm just going to go through and refine these edges and make it look a little bit uh more round like i want it to be that is too sharp that is not what i want pull that down pull that down this down like that and i don't really it doesn't really have that edge that I'm going for. Like, getting better, getting a little bit better. I kind of wanted to, because it kind of goes up, right? So wait, let's 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 just go ahead and just redo this whole section right here. I don't like this piece at all. Um, so it kind of goes upwards. So I'm just looking at the side here. Kind of goes up and arcs up that way, and then goes in. There we go. I like that much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. All right, and then maybe we will um, pull this like this, like this, and like this. Oh, wait. All right, it's a little, probably a little too high, but okay, I'm down with that. Maybe pull that out by one. Yeah, okay, it looks nice. I like that. That looks cool. Sweet. So, with that done, this is actually a lot easier than I thought this one, this particular logo was going to be. Um... All right, well, maybe we will fill that like that, potentially. What happens if we just... Okay, that's good. I like that. That's nice. Um, nice. With that done, obviously, the two things that's missing is the two little eye holes. So let's go ahead and do those now. I'm going to go ahead and just create a super basic circle. Actually, we can We probably should just use the circle tool for this. Um, where is, where is the circle tool? Oh, there we go. This is going to be selection. So we're going to select, we're just going to select it instead of like actually filling it in. We're just going to, I think that's pretty close. And then we'll just hit G and we'll bucket fill that in. So select, deselect. And that looks pretty good. I think, I think these are a little bit more like that. Just to pull them up by one. So we're just going to use the um, the rectangle tool, draw a box over top of both of these eyes, and then just drag this by up by one pixel like that, just so they're a little longer because they do look a little uh, ovalish on the right-hand side over here, slightly, very, very slightly. 
So as I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Super, super easy way of converting uh, pixel art, uh, an image into pixel art. If you want to, if there's another logo, another image that you want to see me turn into pixel art, do let me know down below. Always looking for the next thing to do for you guys. So I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.